Hey everyone, this is Johnny I Knows, and we'll be starting in another three minutes. So sit back, get your scotch and cigar, and uh, get ready for three hours of uh, The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. What's up, Jason Pepper? How you doing, man? Misfit190. Man, I haven't played this game in decades. Decades. So I have no idea. I just watched the intro. It is beautiful. I was like, alright, not gonna play any more than the intro. So we'll go ahead and get started in another two minutes here. I know. <laughs> After the what it was like seven or eight hours of um, Viking conquest, I'm pretty sore as well. I'm a little bit sore. Oh, that's what it does in the intro. It's really cool. I really like the intro. Alright, give it one more minute, and we'll get started. Oh, I know. Yeah, I couldn't find the third one, man. I'm gonna have to get it off of eBay or something like that and pay 250 bucks for it. And then, and then when I get it, it's not gonna work. It's gonna be awesome. All right, folks, if you're just tuning in, this is Johnny O'Neill's and it's uh, September 21st, 2016. We're gonna play uh, the Secret of Monkey Island. If we happen to get the, get it finished be before three hours is up, we'll go ahead and move on to the second game, and we'll continue playing uh, Monkey Island every Wednesday until we're done with all of them. So we may uh, pick up another couple. Uh, the third one has been elusive, and I have the Telltale version, which is okay. It's not as great as the originals, but we can give that one a try too. Yeah, no, I. I've done my fair share of getting the Bandonware stuff going, but um, well, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I got my connections. So we're going to go and get started. Thanks so much for joining us. Let's do this. Play a new game. This intro is so good. I'll shut up. Island of Melee. Melee. Ah, look at that. Look at those water effects. Mali, Mali, Mali. I know. It's been such a long time. Now I'm a little worried about clicking anything because I don't want to lose the intro. So we're just going to watch the credits. Give them their just desserts. 
Here we go. Look at that haircut. Hi. My name's Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. Um, I'm over this way. Ah, well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. <laughs> Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck. Um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? The scum bar. Right. Thanks. Three trials. All right. So we got all the different verbs. We've got. We got walk. Wait. Let's get to it. Oh, there's good. There we go. <clears throat> we got walk. We got pick up. We got give. We got pull. We got talk to. We got close. We got push. We got look at. Oh. And it looks like if I right click, I get the um, the walk icon. So let's look at this poster. Re-elect Governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. Re-elect Governor Marley. Oh. When there's only one candidate, oh. there's only one choice. So I can't skip the uh, the dialogue. I, I'm trying to find out why it's going up. Like, I'm not even touching it. It's slowly going up. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. It's just slowly going up. Yeah, there's the scum bar. Maybe I should have tried this out. This is a little weird. I'm not able to look at anything. Open door. Look at these guys. Ahoy there, stranger. New in town? My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? Threepwood? <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Huh? Well, what's your well, name? What's your name? My name is Mancom Seepgood. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? What's the old-timey button? You know what it is? should go talk to the important looking pirates in the next room. They're pretty much in charge around here. They can tell you where to go and what to do. See, look, the mouse isn't going up when it's just a regular mouse. Where can I find the governor? Governor Marley. Her mansion is on the other side of town. But pirates aren't as welcome around her place as they used to be. I'm welcome wherever welcome I go. Everywhere I go. Whatever you say, just watch out for those guard dogs. Uh oh, look like my grog is going flat. So you'll have to excuse me. Nice talking to you. Have fun on Melee Island. All right, looks like it was my controller. I, I I pulled it out, and it seems to be working okay now. They're busy listening to the guy on the left. What are you looking at me for? Uh, 
I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Guybrush. Yeah? So what? Why aren't pirates welcome at the governor's house? Because of what's up, that's why. He's the guy that went to the governor's for dinner and never wanted to leave. He never fell for wanted her in a to big leave. Way, but she told him to drop dead. So he did. And then things really got ugly. What's so scary about this LeChuck guy? Chuck was a fearsome pirate. He tried to impress the governor by sailing off to find the secret of Monkey Island. But a mysterious storm came up and sank his ship. We were no survivors. We thought that, that was the end of the fearsome pirate. The Chuck, we were wrong. You're wrong. What is the secret of Monkey Island? Only LeChuck knows. He's the guy's face. The waters between here and Monkey Island. His ghost ship is an unholy terror upon the sea. That is why we are all in here and not out pirating. What happened to your eye? Well, I was putting in my contact lens, but... Hey, wait a second. That is none of your business. Excuse me, but I'm looking for the dartboard. Dartboard? We don't have one anymore. There was a horrible accident. Drinking and darts don't mix. I can't seem to hear this guy very well. Can you guys hear him? Where can I get a drink? A drink? You could wait for the cook to notice you. But that would take all day. Just find a mug and sneak into the kitchen. That is what we all do. Look, uh, this whole LeChuck thing has me pretty shaken up. So, uh, if you don't mind. Now let me see if I can, uh, audio options. Let's do music volume. And then sound effects volume. We'll do that and see if that's a little bit better. Because I could, I could barely hear him. I, I would imagine it's hard for you guys to hear him. Because I've got the desktop audio a little bit lower than me. You guys let me know. Let's see what this guy's up to. Guess I can't look at him. So let me just see real quick what are the uh, controls for... Like the uh, classic mode. Open, use, pick up. Cool. Skip a cutscene as backspace. Okay. What happened? Uh, what's the what's the classic button? Where is that? No oh, version hot swap F10. Let's see. <laughs> oh, sick! Look at this. Man, what a difference. Look how it transitions like that, too. It's so good. Spiffy. Conversation too, it's so good. Hi. Ask me about Loom, I love it. Hi yourself. Hi. Nice hat. Hi. So, tell me about Loom. 
You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects, not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters. <laughs> Look at this guy. He has the advertisement thing on the bottom. That's so funny. Jeez, what an obvious sales pitch. Sorry, but on some topics, I just get carried away. Nice talking to nice you. Nice talking to you. Oi. Oi. Alright, who haven't we talked to yet? I guess we can't talk to this guy. What about this guy over here now? Just so gonna have to grab a mug and uh, sneak into the kitchen. Here we go. Important looking pirates. What be ye wanting, boy? Want to be a, be a pirate. So what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this whole chuck thing. So? So, no pirates means no swag and no sweat. Means no grog, and we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Well, all right. But you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through the three trials. Uh, what three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword, and the art of thievery, and the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. The what? Right! You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Sword play, thievery, and a, a treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. And then you must drink grog with us. Grog. All right, let's find out about these three trials. Tell Mastering the sword. the sword. First, get here your sword. You must seek out and defeat the sword master. I remember the sword master. Someone in town can probably direct you. Oh, you want to find somebody to train you first. <laughs> Imagine trying to take on a sword master without any training. <laughs> All right, the art of thievery. Tell me more about mastering the art of thievery. We want you to procure a small item for us. The idol of many hands in the governor's mansion. Ooh. The governor keeps the idol of many hands in a display case in the mansion outside the town. You'll have to get past the guards, naturally. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. Hey, they're a particularly vicious breed. They might be able to drug him or something. Can't okay, talk about treasure Tell hunting. More about treasure hunting. Legend has it that there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island and bring it back here. Well, the TM is in the uh, original too. Well, you can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map. And don't forget, X marks the spot. <laughs> okay. What is what's, what's that, grog stuff, that anyway? grog stuff anyway? Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following: kerosene, propylene glycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, rum, acetone, red dye number two, scum, axle grease, battery acid, and or pepperoni. 
As you can probably imagine, it's one of the most caustic, volatile substances known to man. <sighs> the stuff eats right through <laughs> these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. I'll just be running along now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. Look at that fire. It looks like an oil painting. It's like like two or three frames of an oil painting. Looks interesting. Cozy. Hey, you can't come back here. All right. I don't see anything special about it. Oh, it's a chance. Let's see if he comes out again. A chance to get inside the kitchen. See if it was triggered by us walking this way. Nope. Hey, you can't come back here. Oh, yeah. Hey! Don't go into the kitchen! Wait till he gets off screen. There we go. Close. It's some sort of meat or meat like substance. I think it's full of that foul stuff pirates drink. Someone cooked a head cheese in this. It's boiling hot. Hmm. I think that bird will peck my hand off. Let's see what's our inventory currently. Nothing? Okay. Pick it up. Use. With. Anka meat. Up. Ow! Got it! Hmm. Walk towards the end of the dock. Oh, nice. I think that bird will peck my hand off. Fish in a stew. I don't think it needs meat and fish. Can't remember what this was for. I think I need a mug or something to get some of the, uh... Some of the grog. Just meanwhile, meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in oh, yeah. a river of lava. It's got to just collect a bunch of stuff, see what mixes together nicely. Captain LeChuck, sir, I ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir, I. That guy's voice actor sounds very like familiar. This that make you glad to be dead. Oh yes, sir, glad to be dead. <laughs> you are glad to be dead, right? 
Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, y yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young, inexperienced, probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bother you with it. <laughs> I'll have him taken care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. All right, so let's just look around, see what we can find. And then uh, then we'll have a better idea of what to mix and what to do. Oh, this guy. Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? No, but I once had a barber named Dominique. Close enough. Let's talk business. Ooh. You want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? Only one in existence. Rare. Very rare. <laughs> His head is just constantly Only going. Hundred pieces of eight. Uh, no thanks. I don't have enough money. Well then, buzz off, kid. It's bad for business. Doesn't look like I interact with this bird at all. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Said this way. Nothing that way. Okay. I don't see anything special about it. Gee, I wonder what's in these baskets. Actually, I'm not that curious to find out what's inside. Probably poisonous snakes. No thanks. Something would probably jump out and bite me. Let's see. There's a jar of bat drippings. A box that says assorted scales. A shaker full of monkey flakes. And some cat knuckles. Cat knuckles? Interesting. So barbaric. Hmm. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. What possible use could that have? Maybe no one will miss just this one thing. Poor little thing. Whatever it was. No thanks. I'd rather not touch any of this creepy voodoo stuff. Now this is the cup of a carpenter. No thanks. I'd rather not touch any of this creepy voodoo stuff. What may I help you with, son? My mighty pirate. <laughs> Wait. Don't say anything. I can sense your name is... Is... Guybrush. Guybrush nose hair. No, no. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Am I not right? Wow, that was amazing! Do you know any other tricks? I do not deal in tricks. What I know is the truth. Much for this keen looking chicken. So? My mind reading skills tell me it is your future you are interested in. Are you certain this is something you really wish to know? Yes, tell me everything that's gonna happen to me. I am getting a vision. Whoa. I see you taking a voyage. A long voyage. That was very psychedelic. I see you captaining a ship. Yeah. I see... What? See what? 
I see a giant monkey. Yikes. I see you inside the giant monkey. Gross. Wait. It's all becoming clear. Your journey will have many parts. You will see things better left unseen. You will hear things better left unheard. You will learn things better left unlearned. What kind of things? I hate surprises. No. The time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come see me. I will let you know then. <laughs> Those colors. Yikes. Let's like move over here with her gone. Here we go. Hello. Guess no one's here. Guess not. Can't do anything to this boiling pot of green goo. Guess I'll just be going now. Alright. So we got ourselves a chicken with a pulley. And we have some stewed meat. Remember all the Oh, there's a chicken with a pulley sign right here. These guys up to. Men of low moral fiber pirates. Nice, hey, nice rat. rat. Do you like rats? Yes, especially in a light wine sauce. Ah, ah, get away! <laughs> okay. Do you guys know the sneaky- Man, look at this. So awesome. The cobblestone. Quality! Not like the bird-caged liners you get from that clown across the street. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> These are actually copies of the minutes of the last meeting of the Melee Island PTA. <laughs> Can't even give them away. <laughs> Want one? No, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> uh, you, Say, guys you guys pirates? No, we're a wandering circus troupe. <laughs> but this rat scared away the elephant. <laughs> Shut up! Of course we're pirates! You can't buy clothes like these off the rack! What do you want? What's in the keg? In the keg. Rum. Jam. Jam. Uh, rum. Uh, rum and jam. It's an old pirate favorite, everybody knows that. I'm really interested in this pirating thing. What do you want? Sorry, I verbally abused your rat. How come you're on this street corner and not on a ship? Looting, pillaging, sacking, that sort of thing. Well, pirating hasn't been panning out so well for us. There are some unnaturally talented pirates in the area right now. Operating out of Monkey Island. So we've been pursuing alternate means of self-support. We're trying to start up a circus. It was working out well, until the rats scared off the elephant. Now you've depressed us. Go home. <laughs> See if I can still talk to these guys. I apologize for what I said about rats. They're very intelligent creatures. <laughs> More intelligent than him. Why, there's a story around these parts that a bunch of rats actually crewed a ship here from Fable the Monkey Island. No, that's not What's right. What's up, Splinter Cell? Thanks for joining the stream. A group of monkeys. I haven't played this game in decades, so any help you guys can throw my way. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'll, I'll try that. 
No way could a bunch of stupid monkeys crew a ship. Actually, they were chimps, and they weren't stupid. When they arrived, they sold the ship for a pretty penny. Only time I've seen anyone get the better of old Stan in a deal. Oh god, <laughs> old Stan. I thought it was rats. I'll just be running along now. Hey, Curse don't mess with my rat. I said don't pester the rat. I'm not gonna warn you again. Leave the rat alone! <laughs> hey, man! Hey, Frank, man! Frank, make him quit it! Oh, now look what you did! Nice. Thanks, Splinter Cell. Alright, let's go see this, this shop that has the, uh, the item that we just picked up. Which is a chicken... and a, uh, looks like a pulley. We've got the minutes. Let's see, can I look at it? Where's the look? Look at sure minutes. There are a lot of spelling errors. Alright. I have two pieces of eight. Alright, let's go over here. Doesn't look like we can interact with this door at all. Let's go to the archway. Ahoy there, fancy pants. Here's the guy from the beginning. What do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Hmm. Now I don't This voice know. actor sounds familiar too. See, nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret. I don't hide. know why, but I think it's like from nobody Avatar Last Airbender. Easy. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. <laughs> and don't touch anything! No problem. Slashmaster, when you want a sword as sharp as your wit. Ring bell for service. It never fails. I step away from the counter for two seconds and some idiot's already ringing that stupid bell. The Swordmaster says you can jump in the lake, by the way. What do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you asked her again? Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Again. Be right back. <laughs> God, what, what is he, his voice actor... Anything. His voice actor sounds so familiar. Alright, let's see. What's this handle up here? Let me shovel. We'll definitely need a shovel for later. Open. It's locked. Okay. Pull. I can't pick that up. Pull. Open. It's locked. Pull. Open. It's locked. I'll pick this up. Is there an indicator for the safe here? No. Or the uh, chest here? Guess not. It looks like that's all we can mess with is this, um... It's locked. It's locked. There's a combination between pulls, pulls and pushes on the handle. Get a handle on your savings with Gripmaster Handles. Now let's look at the uh, sign here. The only piece of paper that's kind of in view. Ring bell for service. I better not touch it. That storekeeper guy might bite my head off. I wonder if we can just figure it out. So what's the shortcut, f shortcut for pull and push? A okay, pull Y and S, okay. Push is S. There we go. S and Y.
It's locked. Interesting. All right. Well, we'll um, we'll look around for a uh, combination for it then. Is there anything else that we can we can see in here? Doesn't look like it. Because after after pushing and pulling it five times, I hear like a cranking noise in the background. So I was thinking that maybe we can figure it out ourselves, but we're uh -huh. not. Caught you, you little thief. What? Maybe you'd like to pay for those. What? No. I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Be right back. The be, be right back and sounds so familiar. Anything. I have to look it up. It sounds so familiar. All right. Doesn't Looking look like we can walk out with this stuff. Master, are ya? Looking for a little five finger discount, it looks like to me. See if I ever trust you again, devious little shoplifting weasel boy. <laughs> shoplifting weasel Maybe boy. Maybe like to pay for those. About this sword. Well, don't spoil it. If we can well, figure it out. I I'd rather try to figure it out. I want it. That's a hundred pieces of eight. Take it or leave it. Hundred pieces of eight. I don't have enough money. Figures. Now how else do you want to waste my time? About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Oh, another would-be treasure hunter, eh? That'll cost you 75 pieces of eight. 75 pieces of eight? I don't have that much. Then you better go put it back. All right. Well, let's let's Is see what happens. Something here that maybe you can afford. I think I'd just like to browse. Whatever. Whatever. Well. That's not being brought up yet, so we'll, we'll have to figure it out. Uh oh. Hello? Anybody in here? Hello? You know, bad things could happen to a person in a dark, deserted alley like this one. And at this time of night, nobody would be around to see it. Oh, really? That's interesting. Look at the old school way. Fine. So good. So, you're gonna give me a little attitude, huh? <laughs> I better get your name. Alright. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Listen, Peepwood. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Well, whatever your name is, listen. I'm the sheriff around here. Sheriff Fester Shinetop. Take it Sheriff, this is a bad luring people into the alleyways. A very bad time. Bad My advice time. to you is to find somewhere else to take your vacation. Somewhere safer. Boy, I feel much better knowing there's an officer of the law around. All right. Is there anyone that's watching this that hasn't played this to help, like, try to kind of? Figure it out as we go along. Because I played this a very, 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 very long time ago. Oh, got something here. Oh, a circus! I love a circus! I can't pick that up. Oh, a circus! Alright, let's go to the street. What's this one here? Doesn't look like anything. Alright, goes to the same door. Thanks, Ben. I didn't read it all. I just read the first part. Maybe you can do it just like the way the old Sierra games did it. And just kind of give me little tidbits until I give up. 
You know, like the little Sierra, the old Sierra, like, uh, oh, what's this? Get a, uh... What's up, Shin? It's locked. It's locked. This guy's moving real quick. You gotta get me out of here. I'm a victim of society. <laughs> victim of society. Not to mention halitosis. Blah. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. <laughs> yeah. It's locked. All right. Anything else to look for in here? Can't even look at the rat. If you guys want to join in and let me know what you want me to do, please, please don't hesitate to, uh, to chime in. There's the dogs, the poodles. I remember the poodles. Let's see what they look like in the old school. Oh yeah, they, they, you can't even see that they're they're poodles. Let's look at them. I don't see spe anything special about it. I don't see anything special about it. <laughs> Walk to deadly piranha poodles. I don't think I can get past them. So if I just throw the stewed meat at them, they'll be okay with it. So I gotta find something that's gonna poison this meat, probably. Alright, so I think we've seen most of the areas. We saw the scum bar, where we got our three trials. The governor's mansion. We got some shops and a church over here. As well as the prison. The items that we have currently right now are um, two pieces of eight, which we got by taking the minutes to the PTA, PA, PTA meeting. We got a chicken and a pulley. And we got some stewed meat that we were able to get in the um, archway. Oh, yeah. Let's see what happens when we use a chicken and pulley. So let's use chicken on deadly piranha poodles. There surely must be a use for a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle, but this is not it. <laughs> yes, city one. Thanks for uh, jumping in. You remember? Do you remember the little like crummy paper books that they had that you had to use a highlighter to see the hints? Those are the best. Those were the best. The thing would last like two days. It was so frail. I used to highlight those things and it would, the paper would just fray all the way through it. Alright, so we've got, um... <laughs> we got the church. We've got the shop here. Which apparently I have to get some sort of a line of credit. Thanks to Alan Miguel. And we've already looked at the uh, voodoo shop. Let me go call, call my parents up right now and uh, see if I can call Sierra Hotline. Maybe Ken Williams will be able to help me out with, uh, with Monkey Island. Oh, good stuff. All right. Is there anything else that we missed? Maybe go back to the island or go back to the mountain? Because that's where he went to go see the Swordmaster. Is there anything that we missed up there? Oh, this is a different guy. I thought this was the guy from the shop. Do you ever wonder if we're all just characters in a novel? Yikes! Oh, you almost scared me to death! I thought you were a... Oh, never mind. Hey, what did you say your name was again? Who are you? I'm the lookout of Melee Island. I watch the ocean for approaching storms and ships, and report them directly to the governor. She doesn't like unexpected visitors, especially not now. Why is the governor worried about unexpected visitors? Actually, it's the expected visitors we're worried about. One pirate captain in particular. A dead one, but that doesn't make him any less dangerous. How did you get to be the lookout when you're obviously blind as a bat? Watch your tongue. I was handpicked by Sheriff Shinetop. 
I'm over here. Eh? Oh. I'll just be off to seek my fortune now. Good luck! Or is there anything that we're missing over here? Walk to the path. Ah, that's right. We got multiple areas. Okay. Let's go to the clearing over here. Oh, there's a fork. Fork. Nothing here yet. My, what an unusually bright yellow they are. Pick up plants. I've already got one. Oh, we already got one? Alright. I'm not going into this maze-like forest without a map or a guide or something. Yeah, stuff is slowly coming back to me. Just... Like I said, I, I only played this once or this twice. like forest without a map or a guide or something. It's been a very long time since I played this. And I played it on the old... The old school one, which looks like this. So, yeah. <laughs> Look at that animation. It's like, what, two frame? Two frame per step? Love it. Okay, let's get out of here. I completely forgot about, like, the over overworld map here, like this. Alright, let's go to the clearing. There's like a cannon or something over here? Something to do with the cannon. I get in the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me yep. sneeze. Well, I can do it. I hurt my hand taming the lions last week. You like the Deponia series? It's pretty good. Compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. Ruffian. Thop. Weasel. Weevil. Miscreant. Tony. Nerdwell. <clears throat> Say there, son. How do you like the chance? A once in a lifetime that guy's chance mustache. to perform an amazing feat. A death-defying feat. Well, not so death-defying, really. Uh, dangerous feat. No, not dangerous at all. An easy feat. But exciting. With the amazing. Adventurous. Acrobatic. And exceedingly well-known. Fabulous. Flying. Ferrucini brothers. That's us. My brother Alfredo. And my brother Bill. Sound good? Good. It's very simple, really. See that cannon over there? All you have to do is uh, get in the cannon. And I've only played the first it. episode. Is it worth picking up the whole thing? Across the room. It's quite safe, actually. So, what do you say? Sure, how much will you pay me? How much will you pay me? How about 478 pieces of eight? Okay. okay. Sounds good. Have you got a helmet? Uh, no, I don't have a helmet. Will I need one? No helmet? Oh, you've got to have a helmet. Can't do the cannon trick without a helmet. No, sorry. Go get a helmet and then we can... Is it good? Trick. All right. I'll look into it. I'm hoping to do an adventure game every Wednesday. I think I'd like to do uh, Quest, for, Quest for Glory 1 next Wednesday. All right, so we got to find a helmet. Which I seem to remember it being a coconut or something? We'll find out. It's been a, such a long time since I played this one. I'll look into Deponia maybe not next week, but the week after. Because I know I have the first episode, but I don't think I've played the uh, the latter episodes. Is is it finished now or is it uh or is it still going? Oh, yes, I remember now. Oh, we have the chicken and pulley. Let's try that. Mm, alt. 
It doesn't seem to open. Use cable with chicken. So far, so good. Yeah. But is it like a, like, does the story end for the first season? That's the one where you have to find the, the girl or something like that, right? I, it's, it, it's been a long time since I played it. Hey! I don't like visitors. Who are you? Bob and Threadbear, are you my mother? I'm a pirate cannonball head. Who are you? My name's Meat Hook, and I think you've got a little attitude problem. <laughs> well, I think you've got a little hair problem. Jeez, you just don't know when to quit, do you? <laughs> I'm saying they did your barber. Did your barber? Why you? <laughs> yeah, they have a the brand new uh, King's Quest game. <coughs> I played the first episode so far. It was pretty good. My kid liked it. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. I suppose you've come to invade my peaceful home and insult me again, eh? Excuse me, but the sign said there were restrooms in here? Sorry, but that sign's a little out of date. I used to have a thriving tourist business here. I had animal wax, tattoo demonstrations, souvenirs. But there was a little accident with one of the trained animals. One of our guests was hurt very badly. So I was shut down, put out of business, and since then, I've lived Oh man, I, I did a stream of most of the and Space the Quest games a while back, a couple weeks ago actually. I think I was able to get through one through five the on, the, on the on the same stream. That made me a hermit. It's on my YouTube a channel. That just by coincidence is identical to one what attacked me when I was just a child. And left me with these hooks instead of hands. A deformed man. Jeez. Now I'm all depressed. Thanks a lot. Can't you just leave me alone now? Yeah. If, if you can't find it, let me know. I'll, I'll give you the link for it. But it, it's got uh, Space Quest 1 through 5 in a single stream. And Space Quest, I know, like, everything by heart. So it's a pretty quick run through. If you're interested in watching it, uh, let's see. Um... I'm Bob and Threadbear. Are you my mother? No, your mother was a duck. Now beat it. What was your name again, Cannonball Head? Look, I told you not to call me that. My name's Meat Hook, and you still have a little attitude problem. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you Cannonball Head. That's okay. I'd rather have a Cannonball Head than a ponytail. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Hey, you've got a pretty good sense of humor. Ha, want to see something really funny? Ha. Yes, please show me, Mr. Meat. Ha <laughs> ha, watch this. Oh, nice. Thanks, Say Alan. Say hello, Roger. Hello, Roger. Ha 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 Pretty good, eh? I got a whole routine, but I don't have the time to do it all right now. Maybe if we're ever on a long ocean voyage together. But until then, I'm a very busy man, so... Could you show me that neato tattoo thing again? Well, okay, but just one more time. Haha, <laughs> watch this. Say hello, Roger. Hello, Roger. 
Oops, I just realized that this is the wrong house. Oh, okay. Have a nice time on Melee Island. Say goodbye, Roger. Goodbye, Roger! Okay. Alright. <clears throat> so let's use the pulley hmm. to get back. A Oop. rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. What possible use could that have? Wow, it works both ways. That's some chicken. Alright, let's go back to the path and see what else we can find. Didn't get much going there. <laughs> Stinking pirate. Gonna find that helmet. Gotta get a sword to challenge these stinking pirates. Oh god, I remember this guy. Stop! You must pay a toll. Look behind you! A mouse! I'm not falling for that. Scuttle along, you scurvy sea slug. None shall pass. You can't pass until you pay the toll. <laughs> well, what have you got? Some semi rancid beat. Don't mess with me, troll. I'm a mighty pirate. <laughs> You're no pirate, while the town drunk could out insult you on his back, and probably would. I can out insult anybody, you brainless clay doppelganger. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Take that and stick it in your repertoire. <laughs> you can't pass until you pay the toll. How much did you say the toll was? I want something that'll attract attention, but have no real importance. Construction paper jockey shorts? Don't be silly. You have three chances to give me what I want. Then I eat ya. Oh boy, three, huh? None shall pass. None shall pass. Let's see, I gotta go here. None shall That's pass. That's pretty useless, but it's not what I want. Okay. None oh. shall pass. Ultima 7? Yes. None That's a game. Pass. Love Ultima 7. Do you know how much I tried to get, um, I think it was Ultima 9 to work? It was like the first, like, 3D version of it. I had like a Voodoo 3D video card and man, that game never worked right. Alright, so... I guess the only thing we've got that's different so far is the the yellow flower. And let's see if the yellow flower goes into the stew with the meat, maybe? Oh. He did say semi-rancid, not just stewed meat. Yeah, Ultima 9, like, I, I must have spent weeks trying to get that game to work right. Man, that that was a... Oh, they do? I gotta try it out. I gotta see how bad it is. I was thinking, if you talk to the shopkeeper... Alright. I'll, tr I'll try that, Sierra hint book. I'm gonna try putting the... 
the uh, flower into the uh, into the stew real quick, though. Let me try that first, and then I'll go talk to the shopkeeper. That's good. I like that. I l there we go. There we go. Go, go, go. Go, go. Go, 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 go. If I try to get in, he's going to yell at me. Hey, don't go he's going to go back kitchen. the other way. All right. Let's see. Uh, alt. Use yellow petal with pot of stew. It's not a bay leaf, but every cook makes substitutions. Okay. So I used it. I don't think it needs meat and fish. Interesting. Alright, dude. Have a good one, man. Thanks for coming by. So it already has the fish in it. Hmm. Stewed fish. So can I get a pot of stew? Ow! Guess not. Got it. Alright. Well, the Sierra Hint book is telling me to go talk to the shopkeeper. Shopkeeper sure gets back fast. Oh yeah, Drickin, uh, I'll be playing it uh, tomorrow morning again. Uh, maybe not at 2 a.m. my time, but um, I'll definitely be playing it after I finish a couple of YouTube videos. I am very much looking forward to more of it. I'm going to do some Mountain Blade uh, Let's Learn videos tomorrow morning. Alright, let's head on over to the shopkeeper. I've got my eye on you, boy. Steal anything and I break your legs. What do you want? I could really use a breath mint. Whew, you're telling me. Mm. Here, take one. All right, good. Please, take the whole roll. That'll be one piece of eight. What else do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Yeah, like I'm gonna fall for that one again. Oh, yeah? Oh, please. I won't How's that going so far? I promise. Hmm... I guess I could hike all the way over there again. Be right back. I've got my eyes on you, weasel boy. Don't try anything. All right, so he, he goes pretty quickly. I wonder if I can open the door. Then follow him. There we go. <laughs> Already go. Here we go. Into the path we go. I don't think strolling through the forest picking flowers is very good practice for being a pirate. But you have no realism on ter at all? Alright, let's go see what happens. I've got the yellow flower ready. Oh, I, I guess I need another one, right? 
I'll pick that one up when I go back. Let's go see what happens when we uh, talk to him. And then obviously we'll open... I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. Yeah, I, yep. Again, I noticed that. Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on the uh, business. This kid, come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike and don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram. How dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission? Which I sure... <laughs> she looks really pissed off in the old version. I've come to kill you. I must talk to you. I doubt that. Everyone who comes here is prepared to fight. Let's be honest. You're here to prove yourself to the pirate leaders in hopes of one day being as immoral as they are. Yep. Nailed it right on the head. Gee, you're smart. But as you have no sword... I doubt you're really serious. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to get him to come all the way over here again. And then keep that thing open. Or uh, open it after he's passed through it, I would imagine. Hopefully we don't have to go do this all again. Maybe we just open it right now. Alright, I guess the shop keeps yeah, he's already he's already back home. Move out of the way or I cut my way through. Nice night we're having, isn't it? I sure hopes you had something more important to stop me for. Why do you guys talk so funny? Pirate lingo. It's how everybody talked back then. <laughs> Come on, guy brush, play along. Sorry to bother you. I'll uh, be on my way. Alright, so let's go ahead and get him to walk all the way over there again and then open the door behind him. Hopefully that's what we need to do to get him to not to come back fast enough. Oh, he's still... he's still not here. Oh, I should have known it'd be you again. The Swordmaster says you can jump in the lake, by the way. What do you want? Alright, let's go... I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Yeah, like I'm gonna fall for that one again. Oh, please? I won't steal anything this time, I promise! The heavy armor only reduces your athletics by one, though. All the way over there. Again. Be right back. I've got my eyes on you, weasel boy. Don't try anything. God, what character does he play in Avatar? Sounds so familiar! Oh, I know what it is. Um, if you guys know Avatar, uh, I think it's Boomy. <laughs> this talks with a magic go ham when they see you. <laughs> Four out of ten for Sierra Hintbook. Not giving spoilers out. Rating. Alright, let me go see if I can... Um, Get him to not come back quickly by opening up his little 
This little trap door thing. Let's make sure to get that yellow flower by the time we come out. Come through here. There we go. Pick up. Yeah, the stamina thing in that game is, is pretty annoying. I might turn that off as well. I don't think strolling through the forest picking flowers is very good practice for being a pirate. Doesn't let me really uh, pick up the red ones, but it lets me pick up the, the yellow ones just fine. Alright. And let's uh, push this or use it. Danger! Open ravine. All right, let's get back. See you when you get back, Shin. Let's see if you can get back quick enough. God. No, this is what that's how you get out? Nope. And you get out of here. Oh god, we're trapped. Oh no. There we go. It's the beginning. All the way back, and then see if we can take the sword and um, the sword and the shovel. But well, that means that we've got to like go through all of that again to get him to open the thing for us, or maybe we have to meander our way through that on our own, probably. Alright, let's see. Okay, it looks like he's still not there. Hopefully we can snag this stuff. Hopefully. And then get out of here. Come on, don't make it all worth- not worth it. Come on, let us get out of here. No! Aha! Caught you again, you little rat. Don't you ever learn. Maybe you'd like to pay for those. About this shovel. Oh man, gotta go through yeah, this again. What about it? I don't want it. Then you better go put it back. I was really hoping that would trap him on the other side and that'd allow us to take this stuff. Is there something here that maybe you can afford? Nope. About this sword. Yeah, what about it? I don't want it. All right. Figures. Sierra hint book. Now, how else do you want to waste my time? I think I'd just like to browse. All right, Not Shin. Ever. Have a good one, man. Sheena Rock. All right, let's go see how ham. Oh, I got I got uh, breath mints now. I give this to give them to this guy. What is this little marker here though? All right. Breathmaster for the pirate who cares about first impressions. Ooh, that's refreshing. That doesn't seem to work. I'll give. That doesn't seem to work. Give breath mints to prisoner. Oh, Grago mint. How refreshing. Thanks. So, have you come to release me? 
Oh, sorry. Just adjusting this a little bit. Who are you? My name is Ores. Ores. I think it is. I've been in here so long I can hardly remember. You gotta get me out of here before I lose my mind completely! Can't you see? I'm innocent! But why are you in jail if you're innocent? I was framed! I didn't touch the stupid flowers! Ooh, flowers, huh? What flowers? The jello conish in dormi flowers in the forest. It's against the law to pick them. So, uh, how's the food in there? Oh, you know, the usual. Slug, grog, gruel, rats, bugs, and body lice, if I can catch them. I have a carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made, even though she knows I did carrot cake. She knows. Actually, the cookie at the bar is an old friend of mine, and sometimes he sneaks me food, like pork trimmings, mostly feet and lips, but once in a while, he brings this really odd rump roast. What was so odd about the rump roast? Well, it's the only rump roast I ever seen with a prehensile tail. So who'd want to frame you? I don't know who exactly. I think it was a conspiracy. And if there's one type of piracy I don't like, it's Cole's piracy. Sheriff Shinetop sure is a jerk, isn't he? No kidding. Fester Shinetop is the meanest man on Melee Island. Luckily, the governor keeps him in check most of the time. We used to have a fair, decent man for a sheriff, but he recently died under mysterious circumstances. If you ask me, I think the new sheriff had something to do with it. I think you've said enough, Otis. Whoops! I hope you haven't been taking this filthy vagrant too seriously. He'd say anything to avoid paying his debt to society. Yeah, he is filthy. And he smells bad, too. Hey, thanks a lot. <laughs> You've got a lot of nerve coming into this town and passing judgment on the locals. If there's something you don't like about the way we smell, you're welcome to leave anytime. Sorry. Look. I don't know what you're up to, but whatever it is, it's probably illegal. Illegal. So forget it. Wherever you go on melee, I'll be watching. And if you try any monkey business, you'll end up in here for good. Man, is he a pill or what? You see what I have to put up with? <laughs> you better go before you get us both in trouble. No, I gotta. I want to see if I can give him some meat. Let's see. Should I give him the uh, stewed meat? It's some sort of meat or meat-like meat -like substance. substance. I don't want anything but my freedom. All right, doesn't want that. Look, I like visitors and everything, but I don't have much more to say. Plus, my throat's getting dry from all this talking. Why don't you go find someone else to talk to? It's All not right. like I'm the only pirate left on the island. I'll go right? use the ham on the dogs. Let's see what happens. Well, that's just going to make them full. It's not poisoned anyway. Alright, so give... Deadly piranha dogs. They didn't do anything. I'm not going near them. <laughs> yes. I, I did remember that one. I can't remember the container, though, to get the grog with. And I don't have a container yet. Is there like something that I can use? I 
Let's see, container. Nope, I don't see anything over here. <laughs> it's pretty smelly anyway, unlike flowers. <laughs> Said something about stealing a um, a mug. Does someone leave a mug around? Let's see. If we get a mug of the grog, we can use it on the bars. I can't remember. I guess we have to go into this room. And then go into this room. And then have the guy come out. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can... Uh, Use the flowers with the hunk of meat. What happened? Look at meat with condiment, okay? Use condiment with pot of stew. Okay. Mm, stewed meat. And pick up the meat. Ow! Got it! It's boiling hot. So, stewed meat. Doesn't say it has a condiment on it anymore, though. I think it's full of that foul stuff pirates drink. I can't pick that up. Oh, God, it was right here. I don't want that much. Take the bucket. I got it. I don't want to put that in. Alright, so we got a bucket. Didn't work on the grog. The troll sure looks fishy. <laughs> yeah, I got it. The troll to fit on the troll on the bridge. I'm just uh, I'm worried that I wiped away the condiment by putting into the uh, the stew. Let's see what happens. When I give the, uh... Or maybe I can just put the condiment on afterwards. Let's find out. Let's see what happens to the meat. Give. Oh, it worked. It worked. Important notice. These dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production. <laughs> nice. All right, folks, I'm going to take my, uh, my hour and a half break i'll be i'll be back in about three minutes just gonna get a quick smoke hit the restroom and i'll be right back thanks for watching you guys slowly get out oh god <laughs> there goes my green screen
Maybe it'll be a couple more minutes. All right, I'm back. Let's see what damage I did to my green screen. That was the, that was the first mishap with the green screen. Let's see how much I have to fix it. All right, not this way, but this way. Here we go. Shift, shift, shift. Ta-da! All right, I'm just gonna refill my e-sig machine here and then we'll get started. I don't know, we're gonna have to find out as we get through this. We don't finish the first game by today. We'll do more tomorrow at the same time, 3 p.m. Until we at least finish one of the games. I remember this game being pretty short though. I don't know why I'm taking so long. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's see. Did I get the whole green screen is the question. No, I'm I'm good. I'm good. It's it's just a car a piece of cardboard with some green construction paper on it on an easel. It's super professional. But it only cost me ten bucks. And that's all that matters. Alright, here we go. Let's get started again, guys. Sorry for the uh the breaker rooney, but it looks like it only took three minutes, so perfect. Ah, uh, fresh e-cig. Lemonade. Delish. A priceless Ming. This looks like a job for Fester's shine top. <laughs> yes. Five points of mental health. Oop. The red button. Look at tremendous it's a yak. Big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. I can't move it. I can't move it. Staple remover. Nice. Pick I'll up need this. manual of style. I must be nuts. Pick up wax lips. Fuck! Gophers! Pick up gopher repellent. Over horde. Funny little man. It's beautiful. I can't open it. 
Uh-oh. <laughs> that should hold him for a while. Excellent. If only I had a file, I could get the idol. File. Alright. Look at the books. So what do we get from that? We got some wax lips. No time for reading now. Manuals of style. I think it's some kind of religious text. I see. <laughs> All right. We'll only open I the door. I the sheriff in there. Okay. Where else can we go? So it looks like we need a file to get the idol. But then the um, sheriff is detained now. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. I don't see anything special about it. That doesn't seem to work. Okay. What else can we do in here? Hmm. Alright, Shin, have a good one, man. I'll be streaming again uh, tomorrow morning with some more Viking Conquest. Doesn't look like there's anywhere to go. There's a sheriff's office? Where's the sheriff's office? We haven't seen that yet. Alright. Looks like we're gonna go through here and that's all we can do. We're gonna look for a file though. Anywhere over here? Nope. So... So he said that the uh, the troll was kind of fishy. But a fish has a use, though. Press enter for another hint. I'm gonna try the fish on the um, on the troll real quick. Then we'll go come back here. Press enter for another hint. <laughs> Where's my highlighter? I don't see anything special about it. Alright, so we got the pot. The pot could be used as a helmet, maybe. Get that money. I want to try uh, seeing if the pot will act as a helmet. The circus. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to double click. Let's see if there's something we can do. Uh, help and options, controls, skip cutscene. There's a hint. Subtitle speed. No, it doesn't look like it. Dialogue selection. No. Yeah. Some of the. Um, some of the, the Sierra games, you could double click and they would instantly go to where you're walking. So if I double click this, they'll Weasel. instantly get there. Weevil! Miscreant! Tony! <clears throat> Hello again! Ready to do the cannon trick? Have you got a helmet? Okay, of course, of course I, have I have a helmet. helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? Well, let's have it. We want to be sure. That it's safe. Wouldn't want you hurt. No siree! Give. 
Ha! That will work as a helmet. Nice. Now we can do the trick. Step right over here, son. Now, put on your helmet. And get in the cannon. And we'll take care of the rest. Echo! Echo! Ah! It works! Oh, I'm so relieved. Hey! Are you okay? Where's my helmet? Where's my helmet? He's all right! Hooray! We are spared an embarrassing and a financially debilitating lawsuit. Here is your money, sir. Just a recompense for aiding us. The basic theory is fine. We just need to change the aim a bit. I'll try it next. No, I'll do it next. No, me! No, me! Slacker! Loser! Ruffian! Fop! <laughs> like how they skipped that. Thank you. Alright, let's see. The fish works on the troll. It just gives us access to the um, the ship salesman, doesn't it? All right, let's give. None shall pass oh. a red hair. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. That's supposed to be Lucas. Look like Lucas. Yep, Stan's previously owned vessels. 479. Welcome to Stan's previously owned vessels. I'm off searching the globe right now for the finest in previously owned marine transportation. Have a look around. I'll be right back. Stan. We got some grog over here too. So, use... Huh. Nothing. Oh, I just ate one of our... It ate one of our, uh, buckazoids. I'm surprised this one is still afloat. Looks like one of those well-engineered imports. Looks like one of those well-engineered imports. As is. Ah, a fixer-upper. Is there a way to speed up his walking, too? Oh, where'd he go? How did he get over there? Okay. All right, let's get out of here and let's uh, move on over to the rest of the the other part of the island. Oh, what's this? No. No, can't do anything there. All right, let's go to the house over here. Let's see what's there. Sword. Captain Smirk's big body pirate gym. Ooh. Prices. Sword training. 30 pieces of weight. Cannon firing, 160 pieces of weight. Balls extra. Grappling hook, 130 pieces of weight. Hook extra. All right. Well, I think I'll knock. It'd only be polite. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? Could you train me to be better than the sword master? Better than the Swordmaster? You? <laughs> you could never be happy. Nice. Hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. 
It looked like we were done for, but then she said, But I digress. You just don't have what it takes. I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I do so. Oh, I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. Of course, it'll cost you. What do you got? Well, I figured you'd do it for free. Well, you figured wrong. What else have you got? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. Oh. I guess I forgot to buy one. I suggest you get your sorry butt down to the store and buy one. All I'm not right. in the habit of loaning swords to students. I know I'm going to go buy the sword and the shovel. I'll do that. I'm just checking out more. All right. Okay. Let's head on over to the shopkeep, get that sword and shovel. And then go get some sword training and then head back over to the sword master. This guy, um, let's see, how much was the, the map Excuse for this me, guy? Now oh, it's only you again. Come back for the map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island, huh? I hope you brought enough money this time. How much was it? I can't remember. I'll take it. It'll make a swell gift. Swell. There you go. You made a wise decision. <laughs> now get lost. Alright, so how much money was that? It was a hundred? Okay. Your refuge is looking quite unupgraded right now, Johnny Ono's. Hey, where'd you go? I hike halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster, who, by the way, says you can go jump in the lake. And when I come back, whew, you're gone. See if I ever do you a favor again, ungrateful little shoplifter. All right, let's go what buy this want? stuff. About this sword. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Best hundred pieces of eight you ever spent. What else do you want? About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Oh, it'll pay for itself, believe me. Yeah, you'll dig up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, would you? Mm. <laughs> what else do you want? That's it. Do you have files? Oop. Did you mean hanging files or nail files? Yes. Yes. Ah, sorry, fresh out of those. What else do you want? Oop, I guess I don't, I couldn't ask for a specific type of file, okay. I think I'd just like to browse. Okay, but don't put your lips on anything. Lips, huh? Oh, so the shopkeeper is pretty old, but I think you can sh both share your wealth of knowledge. Hmm. We only take cash here. Alright, that wasn't, that wasn't that. I have go for a repellent as well now. What's this? Map? Okay. Look at the map. I think I've been had. This is no map. It looks like... Dancing lessons. Do the monkey. Hey! <laughs> 
<laughs> it was it was a pretty crappy hint. Oh, you mean just buying the stuff? That was that was the hint. Two, three, four, left, two, three, four. Hmm. Could this possibly be the combination to the, the safe? Back. Left, right, left, right, back. Right, left, back. Now it's got three directions on there. You can only do pull and push. All right, so let's, let's head on over and get our uh, sword training, so we can start doing the, uh, the sword stuff and get all the insults. I remember that part. Let's see if we can confront this guy. Excuse me, but do now it's only you again. I told you there was only one in existence. Now get lost. All right, sounds good. <laughs> if you were to dance in a forest, there was no one there to see you. Did you really ever dance at all? That's good. That's a 10 out of 10. Sierra Notebook hint. Alright, let's go get that uh, sword training. What do you want? Oh, it's you. Let's see your sword. Okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. Yes, I can see this is gonna take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special student mentor pieces of eight bonding. <laughs> that I'm going to these lengths. I'm gonna put you up against... The machine. Machine? I is this gonna hurt? <laughs> Yikes. God. Come at me. Don't be afraid, you won't hurt me. Advance, thrust, recover, parry, repulse. Distance, distance! Advance, thrust, recover, parry, repulse. No! Beat first, then lunge. Hours later. Hours later. You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm gonna let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Let's see what this thing looks like. Oh my god, look at it. But what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's got to be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay, imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting, and I say to you... You fight like a dairy farmer. You respond with? <laughs> So's your mother. So's your mother. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. You should have responded with something like, How appropriate. You fight like a cow. You see, it's razor-sharp wit like that 
that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with? <laughs> How appropriate. You fight like a cow. No, no, no. That was the response from the last insult. Doesn't even make sense when used here. Ah. Oh. <laughs> a correct response to soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab would have been something like first you better stop waving it around like a feather duster uh that's not that see funny. razor sharp that's not now, razor sharp I suggest you go out there and learn some insults i can't help but feel like i've been ripped off i'm sure you're feeling something similar <laughs> that's good All right. Let's go uh, run into some pirates. Maybe take a walk in the uh, forest here. So let's see, we got... So back, left, right. Back, left, right. Back, left, and then right. Then we have left, right, back, right, left, back, left, right, back, right, left, back, okay. Left. Right. Back. Right. Left. Back. Hmm. All right, let's see what we got. Can't really do... Oh, here we go. The legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. <laughs> this carefully reproduced piece of Melee Island history has delighted thousands of would-be pirates and their families for generations. Remember, there are other pirates on this island. So go easy on the treasure. Leave some for the next person. Here lies treasure of such unimaginable wealth... Well, you'll just have to dig it up to believe it. All right, Paid let's for dig by it up. Melee Island Chamber of Commerce. Dig Master, the Oop. only shovel for serious treasure Use hunting enthusiasts. Shovel with X. Well, this shouldn't take too long. Hours later. Hours pass. Oh, there it is. There he is. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy. It's a t-shirt. Not my size, but a nice one nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. More hours pass. All right. Got one of the trials done. The treasure hunting one. Now it's time to fight pirates. What should be wanting, you scurvy lover? Prepare to die. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Soon you'll be wearing I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. Ooh, that burns. 
My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. Hmm. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. I give up. You win. <laughs> what you be wanting, you scurvy lubber? I got it. I'm just doing this part first. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Alright. Um... Oh, I didn't get the, the bloody one? My handkerchief will wipe up your My blood. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Oh, he didn't have the response to that one. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. Okay, got that one. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. Oh no, I don't have that one. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. Ooh, that's the response to it. Okay, let's see, I think I've got... Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. That's a new one. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Uncle! Uncle! What have you wanting, you scurvy lover? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. All right, let's see. I'll take your insulin sitting down. I'm not going to take your insulin sitting down. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's too bad. So I have the response to this one, the dog that was, I think. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you oh, everything Oh yeah, that's right. Know. We got that one. I already got that one. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Let's see. Yep. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So you got that job as there we go. That's the one I was missing. All. Thanks, Alan. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. Ha! First win. Up. You win. Which guy was that? Ugly pirate. Let's see, which one's the ugly Move pirate? Out of the way. Yeah, it's the or ugly I pirate. My, way through. my name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, he'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. Let's see if he gives us more insults. You have the manners there we go. Of manners a of a beggar. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. There are no words for how disgusting There's you are. There's another new one. He must have taught you everything you know. Nice. Got two new insults. Okay, so that was the uh, the bloodthirsty pirate. Let's get him. Move out of the way, or I cut me way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Alright, so let's see. 
So we got two of them. We got the manners of a beggar. And there's no words for how disgusting you there are. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Oh, yeah! Oh, he doesn't have the response. All right, beggar is the you other one. You have the manners of a beggar. Oh, yeah! Oh, he doesn't have either of the responses. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I'm shaking, I'm shaking! Man, he doesn't have any response. He's terrible. That's a blood, that's a blood for a uh, thirsty pirate. All right, so dirty, rotten pirate. Let's get that guy. Move out of the way, oh, or I that's cut small that, way that guy. Through. All right, let's see. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay, so we need beggar. You have the manners of a beggar. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. <laughs> there you go. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. We have that one. Must have taught everything he you must know. Must have taught you everything you know. Okay, now the disgusting one. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learn <laughs> them. Good. Got that response. Anything new? You fight like a nope, dairy Nope, not new. Uh, cow. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Okay, let's see. I think I've got all the responses so far. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. Right. Yikes, nice move. All right, that's the bloodthirsty pirate, ugly pirate. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. Okay. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Haven't heard Prepare any new ones die. yet. We got those last two. Let's see if there's any more. We got all the responses. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. Well, I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. All right, give us an insult or two. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. Okay. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. Okay. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, he'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. You make me want to. There we to go. That's puke. new. Oh, yeah? Okay, we got the puke one. Uncle! Uncle! Okay, let's see if the bloodthirsty pirate knows that one. What you be wanting, you scurvy they lover? look the same. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Oh, you make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. Nice, got that response. There are no words for how disgusting you are. I know that one. Yes, there are. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. Okay. You have the manners of a beggar. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. You make me want to puke. All right. Make me think someone already did. You make me think somebody already did. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So, you got that job as a janitor after all. I give up. You win. All right. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. 
Alright, so, do we get a new one? Doesn't look like it. Boy, are you ugly! Oh, I'm insulted you'd even try to use that insult on me. <laughs> you make me want to puke. Me think someone already you did. You make me think somebody already did. I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. Oh, I'm Rabbi, you are glue. There are no words. I don't remember for how the insolence one. You are. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. I don't think I have this one. There we go. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. Yep, I don't have that one. Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! And see who has that that insult. Oh. Oh. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. Right. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Alright, insolence. I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. Oh, your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, <laughs> That's eh? good. <laughs> like that one. Any new ones? Have you stopped Ooh, that's a new one. Yet? How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. That's a new one. So you got that job as a janitor after all. So diapers sword, and blood. Those are the two new ones that we learned. Oh, come on. What you be wanting, you scurvy lubber? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay, let's pick the diapers one. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Oh, yeah. Oh, he doesn't have it. Okay, we have insulin sitting down. No one's ever drawn blood from me and no one Nobody's ever will. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me and nobody ever will. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Oh, he doesn't have either one of them. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. They must have taught you everything you know. This is the end for you. you Ooh, that's a new one. Cur. So you got that job as a janitor after all. You have the manners of a beggar. Okay. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. All right, so we have three insults. Wow. We got to find out. You're good enough to fight the sword master. I am? No, I'm not. I got three more insults to figure out. No, no, don't, don't, don't click on the fork. Whatever you want, you scurvy lover. All right, so let's see. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. So Prepare diapers, cur, and what was the other one? It's the end for this you. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point. Doesn't, that one doesn't make that much sense. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Okay, and taught you everything you know. He must have taught you everything you know. 
Alright, we're gonna do diapers now. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why did you want to borrow one? Nice. You fight like a dairy farmer. Alright, where's the cow? How yep. appropriate! You fight like a cow! Alright, what's the last one? No one's ever drawn blood nobody's from me. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. Come on, have the have the response. You run that fast. There we go, we got it. I give up, you win. Hey, it's Vladimir, what's going on, man? What's going on, dude? Blame Alan, man. He wanted me to go on Twitch. I'm liking it here, man. It takes me like it takes me like five minutes to get things set up now. YouTube is a pain in the butt. All right, let's see. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I think we got all the insults now. All right, so we've done all of them. I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. Oh, your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, eh? <laughs> and so he throws Soon my way. Be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. That one's easy. Feather duster. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. I'm doing good, man. Did a lot of, uh, uh, what is it? <laughs> I'm so tired. We did the Viking uh, conquest this morning for like eight hours. It's pretty crazy. All right, uh, what else? You make me want to oh, puke. You make me want to puke. Doing all right. You make me think somebody already did. We played some RimWorld this yesterday. I was hoping you'd be you. there to you teach me. Crawling cur. To teach me uh, all your pointers and stuff. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. Oh, yeah? Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword master. All right, I think we're good enough for the, um... <laughs> I remember your glue, Vlad. Stop in a bar right, let's just see one more, and then uh, then we'll go to the sword master. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. We'll play again sometime later this week, maybe Friday. I need you to help me, man. All right, uh I once owned dog. a dog that was smarter than you. They must have taught you everything you know. I got this scar on my face. Ooh, a new one. A mighty struggle. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. Got a, no a new one. You fight like a dairy farmer. Where's the cow? How appropriate. You fight like a cow. All right. Let's see. Did I get the one that he just gave me? The, the scar, right? That's too bad. I've spoken with apes more polite. Can't than use you. until the next fight. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. All right, one more fight until we get that. Uh, or we're gonna keep fighting until we get that response. Oh yeah, how's it going? Move out of the way, all right. Cuts my way through. You put any mods in the game? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. All right, what was it? Something about um, shoot. I got my uh, the scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. 
I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. There we go. Come on, give us a new one. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. Nope, got that one. Family reunion union for that one. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. Nice. Yeah, Hydrocraft is really good. It's got a bunch of stuff on there. The uh, the metalworking stuff is great. This is the end for you, you gutter but the, uh, crawling The curve. new I will back up my save Lord version's God got metalworking on it on stable Death now. Point. Or on the, the I will back up my save. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Okay, where's the uh Did you want one? There we go. Why? Did you want to borrow one? Oh, you make me want to puke. Oh, I'm shaken. Oh, I'm shaken. Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword master. All right, let's see one more fight and then just to see if there's one more insult they can throw at us. Hey, this better be important. So what features in Hydrocraft do you like? Nice. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. I am rubber. You are glue. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. I am rubber. You are glue. Oh, come on. I guess this this is just to tell me that Nobody's it's time to go to the, the uh, weapon master, sword master. Will. Oh, yeah? Yep. Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword master. Yeah, there's definitely a lack of uh, food sources. Oh, it can be God dang it. To your health. Okay. Sorry to bother you. I'll uh, be on my way. Yeah, the metalworking stuff is is really good. Uh, I like what they put into the I will back up my my uh, save branch though. So do I need to get this guy? I need to follow the old man again to get to the sword master, or maybe I can just figure it out now. Nah, I'll, I'll just follow him. Yeah, all, all you need in the uh, the new version is the propane t torch as well as the um, the, the welding mask. It's pretty low key compared to Hydrocraft, but I kind of like it. I, I like it a little bit better because Hydrocraft can be a little bit more complicated. Like you can have everything and still get pretty burned pretty badly. I've got my eye on you, boy. Steal anything and I break your legs. What do you want? All right, looking for the sword master. I'm looking for the sword master of Melee Island. Yeah, like I'm gonna fall for that one again. Oh please. I played a little bit. I won't steal anything this time. I but promise. I didn't really enjoy it that much because um, I, hmm. I I jumped on the Reddit server. Yes, I, I could hike all the. And way it was over it there. really felt like an again. MMO where you just grind up <laughs> skills and then you go get guns and click the stump this time. I got my time. eyes on you, weasel boy. Don't try anything. Click the stump this time. Okay. I'll make sure to do it. You call out when I get to the stump. I wasn't sure. I'm not sure what you mean by that, CD. Is the stump at the Weapon Master's place, or...? Yeah, and it was funny. I killed a bunch of people, and then they all got mad and got me booted off the server. 
I don't know what happened. I was like, aren't you supposed to shoot people? And because I, I was getting shot at left and right, and I finally started shooting people on sight on a forest screen. Okay, I'll look around. Looking for a stump, not seeing one yet. Stump. Looking for a stump. Stump. Still not seeing a stump. Yeah, I'm not seeing a stump, CD. Maybe it was from when I did the, um... Maybe it was from the uh, treasure map. I'll try doing this treasure map thing again. I don't remember seeing a stump I though. Stay back here and eavesdrop. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. That kid keeps asking about you, Carla. <laughs> Look, if you come out here one more time, I'm gonna cut off your head and spit down your neck. Get it? Oh, I love it when you talk that way. Yeah, I'll yeah, do the treasure right. map thing again and see if I find now a stump. Scram. After I defeat her. I'm not seeing a stump. How dare you approach the swordmaster with Oh, it's you again. <laughs> My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I've come to kill you. Nothing like being honest. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been <laughs> fully trained by Captain Smirk. Let's get this over with. My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. Ooh, I don't know that one. So you got that job as a janitor after all. My tongue is sharper than any sword. No, I don't know that one either. You make me think somebody already did. Now I know what filth and stupidity really are. Oh, you know what? I probably have the right ones. Just I need to associate it. Okay. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. Yep. I've got the courage and skill of a master swordsman. Got the courage and skill of a master swordsman. So you got that job huh. as a janitor after all. You are a pain in the backside, sir. I know that one. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, huh? It's being My a smart ass. With... Enemies run away at the first sight of me. My wisest enemies run away from the first sight of me. You run that fast? No. No. I'm glad to hear you attended uh, your family I'm reunion. not good at this. Alright, I'll try again. Uncle! Uncle! I hope this teaches you a lesson. Now scram. No, I want to try again. Dang it. To really memorize how to get to this place. Let's see if she comes back out just from me going out over here. No! Oh. <laughs> Just like online games. No. I don't want to have to 
Get the old guy again. Okay, cool. I can go right to her house. Nice. Cool. Excellent. Thank you, game. I'm I'm I wonder if it was already there the last time. May not have needed the old man. Alright. The chat's gotta help me on this one, apparently. I'm back, and boy are you in trouble this time. Let's get this over with. My tongue is sharper than any sword. First, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. What do you guys think? Think that's the right one? Yep, Vlad is very decent. That'd be my vote. First, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. What do you guys think? Tip the point. Oh, what's up, Brano? Thanks so, so much for joining us today. Oh, wow. Tip, get my point. I got a little tip for you. Get the point. I don't understand how that one fits. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point. Nope, that was not it. My last fight ended with my hands covered with blood. Covered with blood. All right. So you got that job as a janitor after all. That's my vote. What do you guys think? Oh, I hope now you've learned. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll vote for pick your nose. Yep. What do you guys? Let's get a. Let's get one or two more votes. Yep. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. There we go. Now I know what filth and stupidity really are. Filth and stupidity. I'm going to vote for the janitor on that one. I'm voting for janitor. What do you guys think? If I'm looking up, that means I'm looking at the chat. Just FYI. Yep, cool. All right, let's try janitor. So you got that job as a janitor after all. No, I was wrong. There are no clever moves that can help you now. There are no clever moves that can help you now. Uh. Why did you want to borrow one? Yes, there are. You just never learn them. Wait. I don't know. I'm so bad at this. There's no clever moves that can help you now. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm landing on. The borrow one. Yes, there are. Just never learn them. Okay, we got borrow and yes, there are. You never learn them. Who wants to be the tiebreaker here? I'm, I'm landing on Borrow, actually, a little bit. Alright, Vladimir is going with yes, yes, there are. Yes, there are. You just never learn. Ah, good job. If your brother's like you, better to marry a pig. Okay. That sounds like the cow one. How appropriate you fight like a cow. What do you guys think? Or the family reunion one. Alright, cow. Get another vote on cow. Alright, there we go. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. No, it was the wrong one. I hope you have a boat ready for a quick escape. Boat ready for a quick escape. You run that fast? Uh 
I hope you have a boat ready for a quick escape. But in front of you, for you run that fast? Borrow? Why, do you want to borrow one? Okay. All right, you guys are all saying borrow. Why, did you want to borrow one? Yeah, you guys got it. Thank you. No one will ever catch me fighting as badly as you do. No one will catch me fighting. Okay, you run that fast. I don't know. I'm so bad at this, apparently. What do you guys think? I'm voting for you run that fast. No one will ever catch me fighting as badly as you do. Yep, you run that fast? You run that fast? Nice. Good job, guys. I've got the courage and skill of a master swordsman. Got the courage and skill of a master swordsman. You got that job as a janitor after all. I'm gonna vote for janitor. Yeah, it seems like Janitor is the one to go with. Feather Duster? Got one vote for Janitor and Tip and Point. Oh god, we got a three-way. This is going to be the three-way tiebreaker here. Tip? All right. And I've got a little tip mm, for I didn't you. think it was the tip. The point. Didn't think it was the tip. My name is feared in every dirty corner of this island. That's definitely the janitor one. That's definitely the janitor. I'm I'm a hundred percent sure on that one. I'll wait for you guys though. A good fifteen second delay. Yep. Two votes for janitor. All right. Let's so you it. got that job as a janitor after all. Yay! I got one. I give up. Yes. Good Ooh. job, chat. Well, I hope you're happy. Yeah, I know. Go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the swordmaster. You'll need proof. Here, this should convince them. All right, so it's two out of three. Now we got to get the file. So we got to somehow get the grog and get it to the bars. But we don't have a container that can hold the grog. <laughs> All right, so what can we use to get the grog out of the kitchen? Oh wait, uh, someone wanted me to, uh, DD, uh, CD wanted me to go check out the, uh, the, um, what was it, the stump? In one of the forest screens. <laughs> okay. Let's go try that real quick. The guy in the bar chandelier looks like he's having way too much fun. I love Alan's, like, He's giving me hints without, like, spoiling it. Yeah, I can't do anything with the guy in the chandelier. Maybe the, um, the curtain? Pull the curtain. I can't move it. I don't see anything special it. about it. 
Hmm. I'm hitting enter to get more hints, Alan Miguel. Because we only have 20 more minutes left on the stream. We'll have to continue more tomorrow. Hitting enter for more hints. <laughs> guy in the back. I can't click on this guy. I was thinking that I could take his cup if I give him some money. No, can't do anything. I guess I'll just give the shirts to him. I discovered the lost treasure, eh? You're a clever boy. You may keep the chic t-shirt. We have plenty. I'm the deadliest scallywag what ever swung a sword. Well, defeated the sword master, did you? Hey, you're a strong fella. He may keep the stylish t-shirt. We have enough. I think something needs to happen with the guy with the chandelier. Alright. I'll just be running along now. Alright, let's take a look at my uh, inventory then. Because we still have room. the guy on Hook Island Come too. Back later and tell us how you're doing. So we got the manual style, which we haven't used yet. We have the staple remover. And the map, the pulley. The minutes, Rethmans, go for repellent. We have the two shirts. No staples to be removed. Okay. And we have the wax lips. They're yak sized and covered with slobber. I'm certainly not going to chew on them. Let's see, give wax lips to the dog. Grr. I think he's happy with his bone. Alright. Let's see if I can just take the um the grog. Hey! Don't go into the kitchen! Let's see if it gives us a hint. Mm, no. I can't pick that up. You have something Otis can use. Oh. <laughs> the eye patch guy talked in the old version. Mm. So we got to give the gopher repellent to Otis, apparently. Otis didn't really, like, complain all that much about the rats, though. So let's just talk to him. Would you happen to have a file? You think I'd be in here if I did? All I have is this carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made me. You can have that if you bring me something to get rid of these rats! There we go. I can't stand carrot cake. Okay, so let's give the go for repellent to prisoner. Hey, this might work on the rats. Thanks. Here's the cake. Uh, which one? Which game was it? We played uh, Viking Conquest this morning for like eight hours, and then we played um, what did we play yesterday? We played RimWorld, and then we played uh, Viking Conquest. We only played RimWorld for about an hour and a half, and then we played Viking Conquest for another hour and a half. Alright, let's go eat the, um, the carrot cake. Hopefully there'll be a file inside. Okay, there's a file, yep. 
Can we use the file to get him out? I better not wear it out before I get the idol. Alright. Let's get the idol. Yeah, which game are you talking about, Vlad? I think we played, I think we played Ark for like almost 12 hours. It was close. I think it was like 10 or 11. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Let's try using the file on it. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Okay. I don't see anything special about it. How do we get in there? That doesn't Used. seem to work. What other verbs do we have? Open. It doesn't seem to open. Okay. Maybe we gotta go fight the, uh, the sheriff again? I locked the sheriff in there. It's a raspy metal file. I locked the sheriff in there. Use file on door. I locked the sheriff in there. Yeah, that was, uh, that was, that was Ark, right? How do we get in there now? Get a hint from the game. Yeah, I should get back in there. How do I get back in there? Okay. Oh, I just still walk to it? I've got the file. Oh. Derp. Okay, that's how the, uh... Yeah, it was one was three hours, the other one was ten hours. All right, back and there goes the lips and the, the book of style. Got the fabulous idol. That was a close one. At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet. Uh-oh. A little bit. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. They're just sleeping. Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. The pirate leaders told me to do it? The pirate leaders told me to do it. Ta! Ah! What's going on here? I caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, Governor. He says the pirate leaders told him to do it. Then he's not the first decent person they've led astray. What? You heard me, Fester. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Fester. I can handle this. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. So the pirate leaders made you do it, eh? That's <laughs> so 80s. <laughs> Gosh. Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. 
Jeepers, that... My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... sweet. <laughs> I can't even say any words. I see. <laughs> well, you're obviously not in the mood for idle chit-chat, are you? I s yeah, you can change the graphics between the old old version and the new one. Blue. <laughs> 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 I really wish I knew how to talk to women. All right, let's go ahead and give the idol, and then, uh... Where do you think oh. you're going, Throom Wade? Buzz off, Fester. I think you need to cool off. Hand over your sword. Uh-oh. This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. Let's my find plans. Out. My plans for the governor much much too near completion. I risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droop Face or whatever your name is. Hmm. This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. Pretty good day. Alright, folks. So we're going to go ahead and stop the stream here. And uh, we will continue playing this tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific time. Alright, folks. So um, thank you so much for watching. Y'all been super awesome. Uh, if you're interested, uh, go ahead and jump on my Discord server. The link is at the bottom uh, if you just click on the Discord link on the in the in the cells that I have at the bottom, and I also have a YouTube channel if you're interested in seeing the other games that I play. So as I said, he can only hold his breath for ten minutes. I'll go ahead and stop for now. Save game. There we go. So yeah, check out my uh, Discord server, and you can chat with us outside of the stream or outside of videos, as well as my YouTube channel, which has all sorts of videos on all the other games that I play. Uh, I'll be putting out a schedule for next week's stream as well, at some point on my YouTube channel, so you guys can see what... Um... <laughs> Thanks, Vladimir, I appreciate it. Um, so you can see what I plan to be streaming next week. All right, folks, I will see you all tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific time, and we will continue uh, with some more Monkey Island. All right, guys, have a great day.